Most people in America are looking at how to make a life worth living in retirement heavy. You do that by keeping your nose clean and doing your job according to the job descriptions on the scene. When you step outside the lines of your actual job description, when you step outside the store and behave, well, not appropriately, it gets you caught. It gets you caught in corporate situations. Corporate situations come to the attention of the corporate office, and once someone from your store is participating in a hate crime or abuse on someone who's a customer at your store, you really can't just fire them. You have to call police on that associate, and you have to put them in jail, because otherwise, they'll just keep doing it again and again in their immoral life. Let me tell you, it will blow up on your store. See, we've already proven the number of people who've been hacking my computer. We know precisely who it is, we know precisely when it is, but what we want to know is who's been abusing my property. See, when I woke up this morning, I noted that my sunglasses were missing. I also noted that my rubber sp uh, spoon that I use for cooking was also missing. Another item that's missing is a black bowl that I purchased. It's sort of a Rubbermaid Tupperware signing situation that I got from the Dollar Tree store. Where I do most of, my, most of my good offering and go good honest purchasing. Now, if I'm hungry, my words a little bit. Please notice that my eye is lazy because I've had a stroke and all the hazing and harassment and the immoral behavior of law enforcement. And that is on them, not on me. When company employees participate in illegal and immoral ways and block blocking people's progress they should go to jail but when I say this there's always someone else who wants to say oh let's just lie on all these records and let's do that to him and the reality is I've already had all the bad abuse that I can handle so if you're such a macho man little motherfucker stand in front of me and accuse me of something that is appropriate to my life versus yours because my guess is you're a total stranger to me who just thought they'd just do things without the law and you just thought you'd keep abusing me what happened this morning was that marvelous kid who was already kind of abuses to an elderly lady on campus, playing at me, trying to mumble at me through his words, which I couldn't hear half of them, and basically looking for his alleged girlfriend, who was sort of a heavyset gal who he walked to the store with. For all I know, he's been harassing her the whole time, and she left without him. So that should have told you something about her feelings on him. But the point is, was he the one that stole from me? I can't say. But what I don't like to be is bait for the foolish people who think they have the right to ruin a man's face.